All right, fellas, just make another uh, journal entry here into my toy collection. Dug this one out here. This is a uh, fire truck, uh, snorkel fire engine. Okay, it's got the the hose snorkel on, uh, on the um, the lift there. Okay, um, it's a wind up. Okay, this is 1970s. This is called the stop and go. And uh, what it does is um, has a ringing bell. It goes about uh, one to two feet, stops, the ladder goes up, and um, stays up for a few seconds and drops back down and it continues to go. So um, this is uh, all plastic, okay, it's a neat looking little toy, all right, uh, again, 1970, they're about 70 to 73. Okay, um, original box, original case, okay, made by a company, this is the only toy I have by this company, a company called S.S. Kresge, it's uh, K-R-E-S-G-E, okay, Kresge of uh, Michigan, Troy, Michigan, however, this thing was manufactured for Kresge in Hong Kong. So, in the 70s is when they started making a lot of toys overseas, especially uh, Japan and other places. Japan, China, etc. Alright, so uh, this is made in Hong Kong, this one. Um, now, the interesting thing is, uh, which makes this really collectible, is uh, although we didn't have any around here where I live, in the Northeast, uh, Kresge Company, Kresge Toy Company, uh, is actually the company which later became Kmart. Kmart um, company uh, which sold everything. Kresge sold everything as well. Kresge started out as a five and dime company, and then they moved on uh, to expand to other things. And they had some big, uh, big stores. They were one of the originals. You know, they were the uh, the uh, Walmart, so to speak, of their day, and uh, they were the biggest one. Uh, in their day, and, um, and later on it was sold out and it became Kmart, and uh, like so many other stores, you know, this is the uh, the history uh, where it started, you know, uh, so that makes it a little, little more collectible, nice uh, graphics on the, uh, on the original packaging, okay, and um, so, this is the uh, snorkel engine. Okay, I'm going to show you what it does, but it doesn't do it very well. Um, toys in beautiful condition uh, as far as looks, but it doesn't operate quite as well as it should. Um, I'm going to put the camera down for a second here. Stay with me. I'm going to wind her up. All right, fellas, I got it wound up. I'm going to release it and see if she'll do what she's supposed to do. Should hear the bell ring. Should raise up the bucket. That's what it does not do. It does not drop the bucket. See, she wants to drop it, but it doesn't drop it. Now, around the side here, you can see that's the arm that controls it. I push this on back. She drops it. So, I'm looking close at it. And uh, there's only uh, three screws holding that whole thing to the body. So, I might just, uh, I'm going to pull that off and uh, see what it looks like with, uh, with just the guts. See what happens. Sit tight a minute. It's actually going up quite nice now. See, she just won't drop. She won't release. That little piece of plastic there is just uh, for some reason holding it up. I'm not sure why, but... Uh... Alright guys, so I got it apart. Okay, this is the shell. And here's the, uh, the chassis wind-up operated simple motor. 
Now it is a metal wind up, okay, for the most part. Got a plastic um, cam, so to speak, here. See that cam has that one notch on it there, and it has a plate on the bottom. So what happens is that this sits down in there like that. And as that comes around, that plate on the bottom goes into that groove. Okay, picks it up, and then when it passes, it drops it back down. And that's how it raises and lowers the, um, the bucket. It's a pretty ingenious little simple thing. Very similar to the, um, if you remember the dump trucks I showed you, two dump trucks that have, they raise the body and drop it. Very similar, only those were all metal. Those are made in USA and much older. This is, uh, again, 1970s, made in Hong Kong. And when you hear the words Hong Kong, you can only think of one thing with toys, and that's usually plastic. So, however, like I said, most of the motor is metal. It's just that one uh, cam there. This piece here, it's a cam. Comes around, attaches into that notch there, and raises and lowers the body. I'm going to try to get it back together and see if we can make it work. All right, guys, so I'm ready to show you how this thing works now. We took it all apart, as you've seen. We oiled it all up and um, found a couple of spots that were tight in there with the uh, the cam. And I cleaned it up, put it back together, and we uh, promoted this fireman here to uh, snorkel duty. Okay, not original. Not original equipment there, okay, for you purists there. Okay, so uh, one other thing I wanted to show you which the problem was, uh, that cam in there is uh, is a double cam, so to speak. has two cam notches on it. One raises and lowers the uh, snorkel. The second one operates that right there. You see that little triangle type piece of plastic there? It's actually a jack. Now, the, the, uh, the dump trucks I showed you in the past, which raise and lower the body, have the same exact uh, type of mechanism, only those, those were metal. Now what happens is, as the second cam comes around, actually the first cam, it pushes down on that, makes it come out, it raises the rear of the um, fire engine. Okay, so the, the wheels keep spinning, operating the motor, but obviously the fire engine does not move. Okay, it's jacked up. And because it's not centered, that's why you might have noticed it wobbling a little bit. And that was causing the problem of the uh, the release. Okay, it just wasn't uh, centered right, and on this slick table with the, the wheels, it just wasn't working right. However, uh, if I hold it off the table, I can demonstrate it for you now. Uh, it's all working perfectly. So we're gonna wind it up and uh, back in uh, just a minute. All right, fellas, we got it all wound up. We're gonna try to make it. Uh, Demonstrate going through all the motions now, ringing the bell, raising the snorkel apparatus, and then dropping down. Okay, you should do it at least two times, possibly three. I don't know if I have it wound up all the way. But uh, when it's wound all the way, it'll do it three times. But anyway, before it wasn't do, uh, dropping down at all, you recall. Let's see if she'll do it now. good now, and um, kind of like my uh, newly acquired fireman on duty here, uh, it worked out pretty good, I have no idea where the heck he wandered in from, but uh, amongst all my junk toy pile, I managed to uh, find us an operator there. Alright guys, so that's it, 1970 Kresge, uh, so that makes it what, uh, 50 years old, not too bad for a 50 year old plastic toy made in Hong Kong, and um, you know, can't expect it to work forever when they're made of plastic, but uh, amazingly, I don't think this thing was played with too much at all, because she survived pretty good with no 
dings, no dents, no missing parts, and um, makes a nice display piece. And it certainly is functional now. Alright, fellas, thanks for watching. Welcome your comments. Book them, Daniel.